Welcome to this Learn Electrics video, the fifth in our video shorts series. With the launch of Amendment 2 of BS 7671, there have been many changes to the wiring regulations book. In this video, we will look at just the changes that affect insulation resistance testing. There are a few small changes to this part of the testing process, and fortunately for us, there is no need to buy new test meters. They are mostly in the method and process of testing, and a few paragraphs have been clarified. Table 64 is unchanged, and you will find this on page 234 in Regulation 643.3.2. Regulation 643.3.1 now has two indents, 1 and 2. Previously, this was the same wording, but all one paragraph, and it states that the insulation resistance should be measured between live conductors and live conductors and the protective conductor connected to the earthing arrangement. During this measurement, line and neutral conductors may be connected together. Our first test should be between live conductors. In a single phase installation, this will be between line and neutral at the relevant test voltage. Then, we should test between each live conductor and the CPC or earth, with the CPC connected to the earthing arrangement. This will help to identify cables that have been damaged when pulling through trunking, screwed through when conduit covers were replaced, etc. I know that many electricians already do this, but there are also many that don't. Now test the other live conductor, in this case the neutral to earth. One method to avoid damaging sensitive and vulnerable equipment is to link line and neutral together and to then test between the connected conductors and the earth. Regulation 643.3.3 has had the wording and methodology clarified. Where connected equipment is likely to influence the measurement of the test or be damaged, the test shall be applied prior to the connection of such equipment in accordance with Table 64, and then Following the connection of the equipment, a test at 250 volts DC shall be applied, and the insulation resistance shall have a value of at least 1 megohm. In other words, at first fix, before attaching any accessories or equipment, test the insulation resistance of all the cables at 500 volts DC. We would hope that our readings would be at our meter maximums off the scale for new wiring. I always tested my wiring like this before any other trades got anywhere near it, and some electricians would even have the test witnessed by the customer. Then, after second fix, with the accessories etc in place, test at 250 volts DC. Remembering that some manufacturers recommend that their equipment is disconnected during any 250 volt DC testing. The reason for the second test is confirmation that all is still good with your cables. If the other trades, plasterers, plumbers etc have damaged your cables during their work, you will know that when you finished your first fix, all your cables were good. Now, who is going to pay for repairing them? If it comes out of your pocket, that could be the profit on the job. And vulnerable equipment can include LED lighting, socket outlets with USB chargers, smoke detectors, some RCBOs, surge protective devices or SPDs, and lots more. This list is not exhaustive. If in doubt, read the product information sheet that comes with the equipment. And there we have it. We hope that this short video has helped a little in understanding some of the changes to Amendment 2. There will be more of these video shorts to follow, each on just one change to the regulations. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you'll find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.